Hello, welcome back to Spread Puddin'. In this video I'd like to make a base converter and we're going to, it'll be a tool that converts from binary to decimal and I say base because binary is base 2 and decimal is base 10 which is the standard notation that we use every day. We have 10 different digits. Binary has two different digits, 0 and 1. So first, let's let's only let's say we're just going to convert um, binary strings that are 8 digits long. So first we'll just lay out 8 digits 4 5 6 7 8 um, we'll give ourselves some, make it tidy here, and then I'm going to lab label this number. This is the number that we're converting. And then I'm going to put another space here for the base that the number is in, and put an equal sign. And then this is our result number, and I'll leave it blank for now, and that'll be in base 10. Actually, let's go here and format these so we're not confused. Make it smaller. That's standard notation. It's a little too small. Make this smaller. And let's center all of this. There we go. That's smaller. That's smaller. Okay, and then we can actually work with this little two in a minute here. So I have these eight numbers, these eight place values, and I need to actually give them values. So if this were a base 10 number, this one would be the ones place, this would be the tens place, this would be the one hundreds place, and so on. But it's not a base 10 number, it's a base 2 number. So each value is worth, each place is worth multiples of 2. So the first one is worth 1, the second one is worth 2, the third is worth 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And that number is a little too large, so there we go. Let's highlight these so we know what we're supposed to be looking at. It's too light. There we go. Ugly but effective. So those are the place values. Four space. Okay. This is just our work area, so we know, so we have a spot to do our calculations. Okay, we also need numbers for each position, starting with the zero position, which is this first one here, and this will be more clear in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to label this position. And then we need to actually add up the numbers. So let's just make a sum row to figure out the actual value of each of these, each of these digits and the position they're in, we need to multiply the number here times our base to whatever power the position is. So let's make it more clear with filling out the e equation. So we start with this first position times our base to the value of the position that it's in. And we need to make sure that our base stays where it is, so I'll put the dollar sign in front of it. And 1 in base 2 is worth 1. Let's copy this, move it over. 0 here is 0. That makes sense. Let's test it with a 1. So making this a 1 
should mean that it's equal to 2. Okay, good. Copy. Let's make sure all of these are correct. 4. This should be an 8. So now that we've seen it here, this should be 16, 32, 64, 128. Perfect. Now we can actually get rid of this since we know what they're supposed to be. So that means that an 8-bit binary number with all 1s is equal to... Now to figure that out, we need to sum our sum row and get the whole thing here. 255. Uh, that makes sense. The value of a byte, which is 8 bits long, can be from 0 to 255. Now let's say we want to... The nice thing about how we wrote this is that I built in the base that we're converting from into the tool, and it adapts if you change the base like this, convert it back from base 10 to base 10, it equals the exact same thing. It's just 8 ones, which is 11 million something. Now let's say we are in um, Star Trek. They use uh, quads, which I'm assuming is base 4. So that means we can use the digits 0 to 3, because there are four different digits. So 0, 1, that's right. 2 is a 2. Let's go here. That should be a 4. Yep. Equals 6. So the number 12 in quadnary, I guess you'd call it, is equal to 6 in base 10. Now, Let's do some conditional formatting to kind of alert us if we exceed the number of digits we're allowed. So we have our base, and let's take these, format, conditional formatting. This is pretty much the same thing in Excel. So if the value in any of these is greater than or equal to Four. we want it to let us know that we're doing something wrong, so we'll just highlight it in red so it looks like an error. Okay, so these are all good. Let's try four. Okay, good. So it's telling us that this is incorrect, even though it's still giving us a result. Um, this is an impossible number. You can't have the number 4 in a base 4 number. If it were base 5, you could. That's allowed. Let's go back to binary. So for binary, we can only have 1s and zeros. See? And because we can use any base, let's change the name here. Let's change the 2s out with x's. And that's about it.